So there are a couple ways that I can look for courses to add to my plan or to register. I can either search here or I can click on each individual class. Now the reason why you might want to search here, let's show you what happens here. Notice the search button is within this discipline here, Humanities 1. That means the search button is going to display all the courses within Humanities 1. I don't know which one of these courses to take because I really don't know what the courses are about. I might choose this option. So let me click here and show you what you will see if you hit the search button here. It's going to show me each of the courses for that Humanities Group 1 that I can choose from. And it's going to give me the course, the credits, and what the course is about. Over to the left of your screen is an ability for you to filter the results based on things that are important to you. So you can do it by availability, subjects, locations. Distance learning means that it's an online course. For us, we just want to look at the fall terms because that's what we're registering for. Days of the week, you can select time range. So if you're a morning person or an evening person, you can select that. And then what will happen is the courses displayed on the right hand side will reflect what attributes you've chosen over here for your filter. And then the filters that are applied display right here in the green. That is how we can look at all of the courses within a subject area. Now let's go back and take a look at our degree program and I will show you how you do that through individual classes. So we can click right here back to my progress. For the sake of an example, let's say that I've decided I want to take Intro to Creative Writing. I click on English 201 and the course description for English 201 displays and a couple other options that I would like to point out. This statement right here, view available sections for English 201, means that that class is being offered the semester that I am registering for. That means that I can sign up for the class because that class is being offered for the term. Over here, add course to plan, means that I'm not necessarily interested in taking the course this exact semester, but I might want to take it in another term. So let me demonstrate that to you. First, let's go ahead and add our course to the plan. So I clicked on that and you get the course details. And right over here, term, I can select the term to when I want to take that course and you will see a drop down box with many options. I'm going to say I want to take it, again, for the sake of an example, the fall of 2021. Click that. I add the course to the plan. You'll notice to the right is a check mark and a statement that says English 201 has been added to my plan. I'll show you later how you can view those courses that you've added to your plan. Okay, let's say I've changed my mind and said, you know what, on second thought, I do want to take English 201 this term. So I look for the statements that read view available sections. That tells me that the class is being offered that term. I click on that. So below, the course times and locations display for the current term that I'm looking for. So right below here, has all of the terms and the courses that are offered. So I am taking a class. I would like to sign up for a class for the fall 2019. And I do like this time, Monday, Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 11.15. I see that it's housed on the main campus in Humanities Building 112. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that section to my schedule because that is the course that I would like to take. So I click on Add Section to Schedule. Gives me some more information about the class. I review that. And I click on Add Section one more time. 
and I'll notice that it is again up here in the right hand corner English 201 has been planned on the schedule. It also tells me that I have it in another term just as a heads up. I only want to take one course this term so now I'm like where is that course how do I view my schedule? But you can click on student planning here and right here you can click on plan and schedule you'll see this section that says plan your degree and schedule your courses. And then there's some options here, your timeline, which is where you will view your plan classes and advising, where you can submit your plan to an academic advisor. Right here is the term. Spring 2019 is my current term, but I was registering for the fall 2019 term. So I have to scroll through to see that term. So I will go right here click on this button keep scrolling till I get to the fall 2019 term I'm in the right term and I see over here is the schedule of all of the courses that I've been registering for for the fall so my schedule is graphically displayed over to the right and over to the left I see a listing of the classes that I've registered for what I notice is that there is an English 201 with a red mark and I'm not really sure what that means. Red usually means stop or warning so let me take a look and scroll through on my left hand side all the courses that I've registered for. So where is my English 201? Oh whoops I can't take that class because I'm taking Nursing 103 at that exact time so I need to change that class. So I could drop from that class from here and find a different time. So let me just do that. Are you sure you want to remove the following item? Remove. And now that class has been eliminated from my schedule. So if I look at my other classes, it tells me clearly with the green check mark that I am registered for those courses but not started. Registered but not started. And this one is planned. I have not registered for this class. So let's take a look at that and go ahead and get registered for the Music 111 class and see if that fits with our schedule. Okay, so another alert pops up. And it's important as you're navigating this tool to pay attention to these alerts and warnings. So this is another alert that is very important to you as a student but that tells the system that you're taking too many credit hours. So you would have to resolve that issue with an academic counselor. Okay, so let's take a close up look at registering for courses.